Hey Motodians, this is MSG from MSG Motor Vlogs, and I've been having a problem. I'm not sure if I'll be able to fix it in this video, but I'm going to give it a shot. This might be an epic fail or it might be a success. So um, let's get into it. Oh yes, one more thing. Over there we got the uh, Honda Metropolitan, the 2002 Honda Metropolitan. Added that to the fleet, so we got another scooter. Uh, added to the channel plus we got an electric e-bike added to the channel so we got a little bit of everything for uh, in the channel this for the se riding season so the problem i'm having right here is let's see if we can get a little closer okay so the problem i'm having right here is i have a sticky a flasher switch see it this one this side it snaps right back but this side it sticks and then it does something funky with the with the actual flasher indicator let's see if we can get over here Let's see if we can just bring these bars over here. Uh, yeah, I think you should be able to see. So, when I put it on this side, it stops. And then, I don't know what, what's going on with this thing. So, it's like, it's it sounds like it's clicking. It sounds like it's flashing. This one is okay. This side, I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to open up the housing right here. You see? You hear that? Click, 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 click. Something's up with this thing. And then the flasher comes on. So I think it has something to do with the switch right here. I'm going to uh, open it up and take a look inside. I, I've never done this before, but uh, I'm going to, to attempt it at least. I see. I see two Phillips, two Phillips screws right here. So I'm just going to loosen them up and see if the housing comes apart. Hope everybody's doing fine out there. I know COVID's going on. I just want to make sure everybody's doing good. Uh, yeah, let's see. Okay, it's coming apart, so I guess. Let's see if we can. Probably just needs a cleaning, but let's take a look here. Oh, there's no pressure on it. Let's see if we can get a look on. Look and see what's, what's inside here. Let's cancel that. How do I get this off here now? Okay. Let's see, there's gotta be something else holding on here. Oh no, that's it. And then there's just a wire on the other side. I suppose I should have removed the, the grip. Let's see if I can just Okay. We've got the end cap off here. Well, not off yet, but it's not right here. Yeah, so this is this has actually been a sticky sticky switch since since last year, but uh I never really, it never really acted like this. Let me turn this off and save this battery. All right, take this grip off. Now, let's see, can we slide this off? All right, good. Of course, notifications are gonna come through, right? All right, so let's see what's going on down here. All right, so this is, uh, not sure if you guys can see. We got like a T-bone here or a wishbone on the inside here. You know what, let's get closer. Nobody wants a video that's gonna be, you know, you can't see anything in it. All right, let's see here now. I'm gonna put my head torch on. So we got like an X, X right here, this piece right here. And it's quite sticky. And actually, the lubricant in here is kind of sticky. It's probably got, it's probably time for a cleaning, so. I'm gonna go get some brakes part cleaner and clean it all up and reinstall it and see see what it is. The lighting is terrible here. Holy! All right, let's see. So the switch is pretty simple. All right, let's try to take it apart, clean it up, and uh, move on from there. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the actual switch mechanism. You push your thumb one way or the other to turn the flasher on. This is almost like, it feels like, like, like molasses or something. It's really tacky, sticky. So I'm gonna hit it with some brake parts cleaner, clean it up and 
Let's see if I can't get this thing to function properly. Right back. All right, so we're back. All right, and we're back. So what I did was I took a little bit of brake parts cleaner here. Took some brake parts cleaner here. The switch sits right here. There's a small Phillips screw that goes there that screws the switch in. This is a Phillips screw right here. I just unscrewed it. The whole switch assembly came out. There's a, a copper washer that goes at the bottom and uh, a metal washer that goes on the top and there's a little ball bearing here I'm gonna push it in and you're gonna see it slide in there's a little ball bearing at the top right here right here you can see it right there so I went in with some brake parts cleaner and a couple of swabs like this and I just uh, worked it around clean it I'm sure I could take all of it apart and uh, clean it out but uh, I want to go riding because today is really nice outside so I don't want to spend a whole day here in the garage so what I'm gonna do next is I have some high temp super lube multi-purpose grease I'm just gonna take a bit and I'm gonna put some in there and uh, assemble everything back together and see how that works out let's do it slide this over Put some of this down here on the side of the switch right here. Add a little bit more. Slide the switch over here. Left, right. Add a little here. Add a little here. I'm not going to overdo it. Now I'm going to get the switch. Hold on. I'm going to put this down. I'm going to assemble it. And then I'll come right back. Copper bushing right here. Put it in the bottom. Washer on the top like this. I'll take the screw. Oops, out of focus. Okay. So we got the copper washer at the bottom. We got a metal washer on the top. I'm gonna put the screw here just to hold everything from falling apart. I'm gonna take this here. Slide this inside. Gotta make sure I get this this up in there. Now this is pretty. Awkward as I mentioned, uh, I was out driving, but I just thought, and now I'm going to screw this back in once I can get the find the hole. <laughs> Sorry, guys, this is starting out okay. Again, this wasn't a how to, this didn't start out as a how to, this just started out of necessity. I want my switch to work properly, so I was like, okay, and I'm recording this on my cell phone, I don't have my DSLR. And let's see. Okay, that's better. Let's try this way. Okay. In. Okay. Comes right back. Returns right back. Returns back. All right. Let's see if the switch works properly. Okay. It's returning back. That's good. Let's check this out. Cancel. That's good. Off. Off. That's good. So let's uh, reassemble everything and see how that works out. Just make sure I stay in frame here because I know ain't no sense doing a video if you can't see what's happening. Okay, so that goes on there. And there should be a small little you can see there's a little, little, a little pin right there, I guess you can call it that. And it should sit inside the handlebar somewhere so that the whole assembly doesn't spin all the time. I just gotta wiggle it around. Ah, found it. Now, I just gotta put the screw in. That's super long. And the other one. Where did that go? Right here. Oh, that's not the right one. There are different lengths, so yeah, let's take this one out here. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel already, uh, I would go ahead and smash that sub button. That'd be great. Again, I'm gonna have the Honda right here. I'll give you guys a little sample of how it sounds. The little Honda Met. Up here, we call them Jazzes. 
little 49.9 cc okay let's see now okay that's good don't over tighten it Doing something funky with the. Let's see, I'll put it like this. I'm sure. You... So now it works without sticking. It returns right away. Yeah. So that's it. I guess. Uh, I guess I fixed my problem here. Actually, I should probably wipe this down with some some brake parts cleaner, just to get it all. I have my fingers all over it, so right, that's good. And let's get the grip. Let that dry off right fast. Grip. Slide that on. That was easy. Put the end cap on here. Put this back like this. I can turn this off now. Screw the end cap back on. The bar end, I should say. I don't know why I was calling it that. It's a bar end. And okay. Not like that. It was like that before. Oh, yeah, nice. Oh. Okay. And there you have it, people. I guess that's how that works. Let's for the scooter now. Let's let's get a sample of this right here. Let's see. What else besides you? Why not? She starts right up. Runs good. Prime. Runs right up. So we got another bike to add to the channel. This little 50cc Jazz. It's only got, I would think, uh, 7,000 kilometers on it. It's probably, I can't do the math, don't quote me, it's probably somewhere around 5,000 miles. So. I'm thinking it's somewhere around there. Well, that's what we have. We have we fixed one bike and we got another bike that we're going to enjoy uh, very shortly. Anyways, guys, I just want to thank you. Let me shut this off. Sorry. I just want to thank you guys for watching. This is MSG from MS, uh, from MSG Moto Vlogs. I just want to thank all my Motodians, Moto friends, and Moto family members for tuning in. Again, that was just an impromptu video on the fly. Uh, I hope you guys like it. If not, well, I guess I guess people are gonna criticize you for anything you do any which way. But this is YouTube after all, and uh, I think it was educational, so uh, I, I'm sure I helped somebody out. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. As usual, I'm out of here. I'm gonna go ride. Have a nice Saturday.